on this monday, september tenth, two thousand and seven, i'm kristen vulcan for rebecca field with a upi entertainment headline people are calling britney spears' performance on last night's mtv's video music awards low key spears kicked off the event in las vegas in a sparkly bra and briefs singing her latest song gimme more some there said her stint could have been better and the singer needed to focus more while others said she didn't have any spark spears has had a dramatic history performing at the vmas including kissing Madonna and dancing with a live snake. The Toronto International Film Festival attracted a number of stars over the weekend. Actress Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt stopped in to proudly showcase Pitt's cowboy picture, the assassination of Jesse James. Actress Charlize Theron signed autographs for fans when she arrived for her film, Battle in Seattle, and Jennifer Garner was there for the world premiere of her movie, Juno. High School Musical star Vanessa Hudgens reportedly sent nude photos of herself to Nickelodeon star Drake Bell before she became famous. Risque photos of the 18-year-old appeared on the web last week. Hudgens appeared on Bell's Nickelodeon show a year ago as his character's girlfriend. She's apologized for the photos and says she's embarrassed over the situation. And singer Christina Aguilera is pregnant, and ironically, Paris Hilton made that announcement. The two were at a Las Vegas nightclub early Sunday morning when Hilton reportedly grabbed a microphone and said, Congratulations to the most beautiful pregnant woman in the world. Aguilera, who's never confirmed being pregnant, was apparently temporarily shocked. But she quickly recovered and the crowd erupted into applause. And talk show diva Oprah Winfrey is showing her support for Democratic presidential candidate Barack Obama in a very big way. Winfrey rolled out the red carpet on Saturday to host a fundraiser for the Illinois senator. 1,500 guests arrived at her estate in Santa Barbara, California. Tickets for the sold-out event went for $2,300 apiece, keeping them within campaign finance limits. Visitors were bused to Winfrey's home and told not to bring cameras, cell phones, or wear stiletto heels. Instead, they were instructed to wear flat shoes for walking on Winfrey's lawn. The event raised about $3 million for Obama's campaign. That's all for now. Thanks for watching today's entertainment update, and go to UPI.com for more news. Thanks for watching.